the following problem was asked in gate da 2024 uh, for two marks the question was basically asked from the probability section and the question is as follows a fair six sided die uh, which faces numbered one two three four five six is repeatedly thrown independently uh, what is the expected number of times the die is thrown until two consecutive throws of even numbers are seen so understand the probability this die is fair so each face has an equal probability of appearing that would be equal to 1 by 6 correct and the even numbers on the die are either 2 either 4 or either 6 and if we are going to roll the probability for this uh, the probability is 3 by 6 for getting the even number that is 1 by 2 now we need to define the steps after that so state s0 it is going to read that no even number has appeared on the previous roll no even number on previous roll and one more i can define s1 which will lead that an even number has appeared in the previous roll and uh, even number has appeared in previous roll and one more state state to two consecutive even numbers two consecutive even numbers have appeared that is our goal state right that is our goal state so this is s not s1 s2 that we have just defined the states now let's set up the equation for that now so after defining them let's set up the equation so it would look like that uh, e naught e naught that is the expected number of rolls starting from s0 expected number of rolls right starting from state 0 right and after that one more e1 that is expected number of rolls starting from state 1 okay now from state from state 0 the probability is 1 by 2 you move to s1 that is even number the probability of getting even number is 1 by 2 correct and with probability of 1 by 2 you stay in s0 you will stay at s0 and the expected equation will look like e0 equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 e1 plus 1 by 2 e0 this is the expected equation right now with state s1 now with the probability of 1 by 2 here i can say that we can reach to state 2 that is second consecutive even number and with probability of 1 by 2 you can again go back to s0 that is odd number for odd number it is also same so the expected value of the equation for s1 will look like e1 equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 into 0 or you can say that for uh, and 1 by 2 e naught that is for odd and now we need to solve the equation so from e1 from e1 i can say that e1 equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 into e naught and if i am going to substitute this equation into e naught here on the place of this e1 then I will get the resultant equation. I will get the resultant equation as follows just by substituting substituting E1 in equation 1. So let's say uh, this is my equation 1. Here I am putting the value of E1 uh, from this point, right? So uh, equation would look like E0 equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 into 1 plus 1 by 2 of e naught plus 1 by 2 of e naught and e naught will lead to 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 of e naught plus 1 by 2 of e naught right just simple calculations and e naught equal to 3 by 4 of e naught equal to 3 by 2 so 1 by 4 of e naught equal to 3 by 2 and uh, this will lead e naught equal to 6 so we can say that we can say that uh, six attempts or six consecutive throw will say that in the six consecutive throw we can expect uh, even numbers 
uh, conjugative, right? So the expected number of times the die is thrown until two conjugative thrown of even numbers are seen, that is six. These are the expected number of times we need to throw the dice, right? Just simple concept of probability. I hope it is clear.